Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today we will talk about a very important topic for orchid grower that is when is the right time to report our orchid or how can we know that our orchid needs to be reported? So I have my co-host here that's an orchid that definitely needs to be reported but I will try to tell you everything that I know about the topic and I hope that's very helpful. So let's start. Why we have to report our orchids? First of all, most of the orchids that we grow inside our homes, they don't grow in soils, they are epiphytes, which means that the roots are adapted to grow in the air. However, when the moss and bark and maybe cocoa chips, the mix that our orchids come into our homes, they are potted or they have been potted previously, usually they come in organic materials and these materials will degradate over time, they will break down so they can suffocate the root system. For this reason, we shouldn't allow this mix to get really, really old and then our roots inside the pot will not be able to breathe anymore or maybe we will alter the environment that these roots are supposed to grow inside and we can have serious sections of root rot and other problems, other issues that will make our roots not to grow so healthily or maybe even stop growing inside the potting mix and growing outside of the spot. For this reason, we have to change our potting mix to make sure that our orchids will keep growing healthily inside it. When should we report these beauties here? Usually we will report them after they finish blooming. Why? Because when they finish blooming, usually that's the time of the year where our plants will start pushing out new growths, new leaves. So it's when the reproductive cycle is over and then we have a new growth cycle. So our orchids will best equip it to survive and to push out new structures in case we lose some of these structures while we report our plants. Some plants, they can get stressed during the repotting they might lose some of their roots and so they can get dehydrated. For this reason, it's very, very advisable that we wait for these beautiful flowers to fade and then when we notice that they are going away and we have new roots or new growths, that would be the ideal time for us to report our orchids. But there are other reasons why we might need to report our orchids. As I said, some of the reasons are Let's say we bought a new orchid, such as this one. This is just a new orchid that I have in here. And we noticed that the mix is completely broken down and maybe the orchid is very dehydrated. Even so, we water the orchid, but the leaves are not hydrating itself. So we probably have an issue inside the potting mix. And when we notice that the leaves are limpy and the flowers are going away, we can safely cut the flower spike and report our plant with new orchids. We always have to offer them some water, check if they hydrated themselves, and then if I have beautiful blooms, we can wait for the, the blooms to fade, then we have report our plants. But if we notice that the plant is suffering, then we should report straight away. Other signs that we need to report our plants is when I said, look inside the potting mix, check how the roots are doing, if the potting mix is very broken down, very old, that's a very good indicator that we should report, especially with new orchids since we don't know how long they are potted up in this type of material. If it's an old orchid and uh, if you have organic mixes, at least each two years you should report your plants because the material will start to get old if you use organic mix, I have zero experience with an organic mixes. Another sign that uh, it's time for you to report in your orchid is to start to sense like a foul type of fragrance smell. If the mix is smelly, it's a sign that something is wrong inside the pot. So you need to definitely unpot and report your orchid. Same thing if you spot any type of pass inside the potting mix or any type of mold. So fungus is a good sign that it's time for this orchid to be completely reported. Something else is, and I'm going to use some examples here of reasons why I report some of my orchids. 
is that if I offer it a potting mix that is not suitable for my orchids, I notice that my orchids are not thriving there. So then again, it's a good sign that I should import and report my orchids. Some cattleyas specifically, after you report them, you will notice that a lot of roots will be dead inside of the potting mix after a month or so then it's a good time for you to unpot this plant and report it again specifically just trimming all of the dead roots we should avoid to have so many decaying material inside our new potting mix and something else very very important is i have this creature here i potted these with you not long ago but unfortunately it fell off from <laughs> its spot so what happened here i have the planting hanging out of the pot so in this case i cannot allow my plant to be like that it's pretty obvious right so i need to repot this plant as well especially these orchids uh, orchids are very resilient plants so they can survive for a long long time inside some of their pots but if we offer them a completely new mix after two years or so we offer them the right environment for them to keep growing and thriving we have better chance to have a better blooming display and having a completely bloom show in the next season so always and always observe your plant when it arrives from the supermarket check the root system check the leaves see how healthy it is and if it, it's already done blooming report your plant also observe all of the orchids that you have around you i would say that safely to report them when the blooms are over or if you are completely right that these plants are sitting on a potting for a very long time i have a ton of other videos where i am reporting some orchids so if you're curious about phalaenopsis reporting or cattleya's reporting or even vanda's reportings I will link some of them down below. You can definitely watch some of these reportings. But this video is just some instructions to show you that reporting is really, really important. And we should keep in mind these signs. And every time that we check that some orchids are extremely stressed, however, we are offering everything that we can and they are still struggling, maybe it's a good time for you to report your orchid. I'm sure the plant will be super happy to be in a new potting mix that was everything that i want to tell you today i hope you enjoy this short and sweet video and i hope to see you next time bye bye <music>